what's going on my people this is your boy lb and welcome back to the new tutorial video guys today in this video i'm gonna show you how i color grading this clip in the vint resolve so in this video guys i'm gonna use some few node in order to get this final best result so now let's get jump on it and let's see how to do it let's go this is my clip uh, and that's how it looks like without the color grading so first guys go here on this file cause i'm going to jump on on this project setting first to check out this color management guys you have to check this color science if it is in the vinch this y rgb about this timeline color space make sure it is in the vinch this white gamut okay this in this the vinch intermediate and then this output it is rec 709 guys for the guys who are using like macbook you can choose this rec 709a okay for me i'm using window i have to choose this rec 709 send all right and then just you click here on save cause guys for me it is already in so i have to click here on cancer so and i'm going to create the nodes okay so the nodes which i'm going to use light click here and then go here on this add node the corrector is this one okay then you have to link this green icon with this one and like this one too guys okay for the shortcut you can use alt press s on your keyboard to create the nodes okay so and then here first let me create those two nodes okay uh, which i'm going to apply the color space transform in and out okay so for this first node let me come here for this color space transform i have i have to add this color space transform for those both nodes in and out okay so let me go here for this first node about for this input color i have to add the panasonic vega month because guys for me i use the lumix s5 to shoot this clip okay so let me choose this vega month guys if you are using sony and you have to choose like sony s command okay something this one s command and then for the input gamma for me the lumix user i have to choose this panasonic vlog you see and then the output color space so let me choose this davinci white garment and the output i have to choose this davinci Inter intermediate all right and then let me come here for this color space transform out and for this input space i have to choose davinci white garment or the input let me choose this davinci intermediate and then about this output i have to choose the rec 7092 okay and then here too i have to choose rec 709 guys i told you for the guy for the people who are using macbook you can choose rec 709 for this output gamma all right so now here i have already two nodes for in and out for color space transform so now let me come back here for this first node because i'm going to just create the another node which will be here on the middle of this in and out okay so let me add the node light click add the node here collector so and i have to link with this something like this this is nice okay so for this second node let me just go here for for these wheels okay but i'm going to use this lift gamma gain and offset okay just to adjust something okay so about this offset i have to increase few things for this well here something like that okay and then again for a few okay so let me come back here for this hdr grade okay let me use this one okay and about this highlight guys okay about this light because I if i just want to increase the light where the light it is in this clip so i can do this something like this guys you see guys i have to increase the light and where the light is okay if i just want to increase the shadow the light where the shadow is for example here on the hairs you see how these things it is okay but i have to decrease the exposure here and about uh, the highlight where the highlight is i can also add any color i want guys you see how it is looking okay i can add any color i want but let me just 
balance it here yeah this is nice and even the shadow i can just add any color i want okay so let me come back here as default so even here in this dark you see where the dark is guys okay yeah this is nice so this is before then this is after let me just create the next node alt press s on my keyboard okay this one i'm going to just use this color slice okay and then because i just want to increase the saturation of each colors okay for example if i just want to increase this green okay i just come here if it is green and I increase the green something like this but it mixed with yellow guys though that's the reason why I come I have to come here on this yellow and I increase the yellow the saturation of this okay this grass okay you see how it is and also on the green I can add like a few things guys okay yeah this is much better and guys if there is any color you just want to increase the saturation here if it is blue green yellow something you have to use this color slice okay and about on my skin tone here i have the skin tone okay so and also i can just add something here on the skin tone okay but you don't have to add the extreme saturation okay maybe this is how it looks this is nice okay and then let me just come back here on this log okay this one uh, i just want to i just want to increase like a few mid-tone on my clip okay on my clip and even here on this shadow i can just see guys how this shadow it is and i have to add some small color okay let me just add like these blue ones okay the few blue ones and if you just want you can increase the green you can just increase the shadow all right okay and then for this highlight guys when just increase uh, this clip if i just want to add the end color on this highlight for example here you can just increase the highlight you see guys but if you just want you can add any color on this highlight too guys maybe it can be green okay it can be blue you see how it is okay on these clouds okay maybe it can be this one too okay but this is too much i have to add a few ones okay the few colors maybe this is looks good okay okay maybe this is looks nice all right and then so let me go on the next node because i just want to make the perfect skin tone okay alt press s on your keyboard to create the another node so i'm going to use this qualifier for making this skin tone guys i have to select this skin so press shift plus h okay or you can come here for these three dots go here on this highlight and then enable this okay so first i have to select this skin tone well except other things okay see how it is looking i just want the skin tone only because hey even this land it has the same color of this skin tone that's the reason why it is already selected but i have to try to select the skin only okay so and i will show you how we will mask these things okay all right so let me just increase let me just increase this the noise or here guys okay even here on this blue radius okay so because i just want the skin only i have to come here on this mask okay and i'm going to mask my skin only guys okay where the skin tone it is i just want the skin tone only yeah this this one guys Yeah, something like this and then i have to come back here for this gamma because i just want to use this gamma to increase the 
the skin tone yeah something like this when i mute you see this is too much high i have to decrease some few few things okay this one you see when i increase the light of my skin even the colors but i have to make sure i can give them the color seems like this okay now you see how it is looking so when you see there is something else on it so i can just use this midi tone something like this guys okay if you just want to can increase the light or decrease okay depend yes where the kind of the look you want all right yeah maybe this is good all right okay so this is before and then this is after and also here you can just increase the smoothness in order to hide where this masking it is all right okay something like this and also i can just increase something few because i just want the clean skin tone this is this is perfect all right and then now the next one i'm going to give them the sharpness okay so for the next node you have to come here on this sharpness or on this blood icon and then i'm going to use this radius so guys when i'm zooming my clip and i move down this radius something like this now you see you got how your clip it becomes like sharp okay so when you bring it up you see it comes it brings like something which is blood but when you move down just a little bit okay now you got the clean image all right and then so for this this is enough to me you see this is before and after before and after okay so i can give them another things like few yes few sharp yeah this is good and then so i just want to give them the last node because i just want to give them like the curve okay something edges which is will be here on this edge of my clip okay so let me go here on this mask okay i'm going to use this this mask okay i have to select this subject like this one like this okay and i come here on this curve and i move down the highlight okay so come back here for this masking and then click inverse and now you see how it is so and they have to increase the smoothness like this okay now when i increase something like this now i got the clean image guys okay you see so now this is the final result i know this video guys is gonna be very helpful to you and if you have any question please about this video drop it in the comment down below and let me know what you think subscribe like share and comment and i will see you in next video peace